the Amazon. The largest rainforest on the planet. It produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It is, in effect, the lungs of the planet. And over the past 40 years, 20% of the rainforest has been cut down. In the 1970s, construction began on the Trans-Amazonian Highway. 4,000 kilometers long, it successfully opened up the rainforest and paved the way for human settlement and deforestation. Miners, illegal loggers, cattle ranchers, this land now belongs to them. My name is Reza Pakravan. I'm an explorer and an extreme cyclist. In 2011, I crossed the Sahara Desert by bicycle. In 2013, I rode the length of the planet from Norway to South Africa. This time, I'll be teaming up with journalist Pip Stewart to investigate the issues faced by this remote and hostile land. So we hear a lot about what's going wrong in the Amazon, but we never hear the positive stories. I want to focus on the solutions. Traveling through the Amazon will be an adventure, but I want to meet the people who call it home and find out how they're surviving. Our route will cross the entire continent. Beginning at the Atlantic, we will cycle the Trans-Amazonian Highway for 2,800 miles. After journeying through the largest rainforest on Earth, we will climb mountains and cross deserts until we reach our final destination, the Pacific. I'm very excited about the start of our journey. We're starting in such a cool place, Belem, right at the mouth of the Amazon River. Look at this, this is just astonishing. So pretty and beautiful and powerful. Do I get it out of Belem with hell? So much traffic. Oh my God, the trucks. They drove me insane, they literally come that close. Willing them to push back into the road, but my god, they come close. We are heading to Alto Guama Timber Reserve. Alto Rio Guama Reserve is the land of the indigenous Tembe tribe, which has been under constant threat from land grabbers and illegal loggers. So we are at the Tembe territory. We have just entered this land, which is disputed between Tembe and land grabbers. This sign, which is clearly marking territory of Tembe, land grabbers saying that it's theirs, and Tembe saying it's theirs. We are with Tembe warriors, and we are going on patrol. They spotted illegal loggers on their GPS, their system. The, the sensor has warned them. Walking through the jungle, we hear the sound of a chainsaw. Illegal loggers are nearby. The loggers are here. That's illegal loggers' motorbikes. They just left it here. The situation is quite scary, to be honest. I'm, I'm not very comfortable around here. <laughs> Thankfully, the Tembe managed to capture this illegal logger without violence. They will hand him over to the federal police. They caught this chainsaw and they're going to burn it, as well as the rest of the logs over there. Fascinated by our discovery, we are back on the road again, pushing to make some miles. In the next section of our journey, we will reach the Trans-Amazonian Highway, which will take us all the way to Altamira. Slow down! The next day, we cycled past the Belamonte Dam, perhaps the most controversial dam in the world. Since its construction, it has caused untold damage to the local environment and the communities that live here. Bloody enormous, isn't it? What gets me is you got all the green, 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 concrete. Gold mining activity is another of the major problems affecting the Amazon. The mercury produced by the gold mine will find its way into the water, and soon, the little amount of fish that remain here will be contaminated with mercury. On the way back, we stop beside a large gold mine on the edge of the river. Yeah, I'm especially nervous because the, the fishermen and everyone else decided to stay in the boat, but let's go and have a look. 
tudo lá em cima. Uhum. Nossa nacional mesmo. I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous because our fisherman friends told us that they often fire warning shots, um, two sets of rubber bullets, and then the third and final one is an actual bullet. So he's kindly agreed to go on ahead and just scout out the situation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.